Hello, people of the web. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the actual first episode of People Behind Social Media. It is going to be a podcast where we I interview your favorite influencer. It can be either on TikTok or Twitch in the future. We don't know yet. And we're going to talk about what ta- what it takes to be a social media influencer. So for the first episode, we are interviewing Aishi Place and... And she is a Twitch streamer. So Aishi, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey! Hi! (laughs) So that's me! Hi guys! I am Aishi! Welcome in! Some of you know me, some one of you knows me, some of you don't. Mm -hmm. But hi, I'm Aishi! (laughs) Mm -hmm. How's everyone today? (laughs) Aishi is a Twitch streamer that has about... How many followers and how long have you been doing this for? It's been one year one already. Year. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I started streaming in Facebook and then oh, really? went to Twitch. Oh, so, yeah. So, how, but how in total, it's been... What made you switch from Facebook to Twitch? So, um, what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's... Did you want to try, try <laughs> Twitch know, actually. Well, I found more friends in Twitch rather than in Facebook. Mm. It's, I mean, I found new friends mm-hmm. here in Twitch. In Facebook, because I can see, you know, common people. Um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, being out there, getting to know you people and you friends to talk to (laughs) especially last year because it's a pandemic so it's nice to have a new friends and then well online friends yeah Mm -hmm. so i like (laughs) here like we became really good (laughs) friends but we live like 24 hours on a plane like so a viewer mentioned i'm reading out of the corner of my eye they said that you have 448 followers hashtag goals no (laughs) That is because of my, you know, of my friends as well, Kai, you, and all those friends that I have here within streaming as well. So it's really good to network. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess if you have a network, you'll gain more friends through them as well. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to know you know, um, a lot of people through your re- real friends, yes. you know, because sharing the community to each other is really fun. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think yeah, that that's why I, there should be another word for between I think I guess colleague colleagues is kind of the work or workmates because yes for example I know this person however we call each other friends but we're not really that much in touch as I am with you or with Kai and other people that I know like I what would you call that would you call that like colleagues workmates no I prefer to call everyone friends then what do you call for example kai and i which are more closer close friends close friends oh, okay <laughs> yeah because i like we friend. are yeah. friendly to each other however there's always like that in the middle like we're we're, we're just friendly <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah because meeting someone and then um will be like you'll be strangers, you'll be acquainted to them, you'll be friends and close friends, best friend. You know, it's a stage. So mm-hmm. yeah. that's, that's how yeah. So okay. that's why I call those people who network with me friends as well. Yeah, makes sense. Because they're sharing mm-hmm. their communities with yours, so they're trusting yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Yes, that exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Aishi. Where do you live and what is your race, ethnicity about you? Where do I live? So I live here in New Zealand at the moment. Mm -hmm. But I am a Filipino. I moved here six years ago. So, yeah, it's been a while. Nice. (laughs) While. It's been a while. Besides social networking, what do you do for a living? Um, So I am a nurse. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I am a registered nurse in the Philippines and here as well. So, yeah, my work is a full-on job. (laughs) So I, yeah, it's nice to have streaming as well to, you know, to sometimes distress, talk to other people out of my line of job. Mm-hmm. So I find streaming fun. And, you know, if you get one. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> so let's go a little bit behind on what made you want to start streaming. Like, what did you say? Oh, I'm playing this game. I want to share it with the world. In your case, since you're doing Twitch. Actually, I didn't thought of streaming first. Okay. So before I was thinking to like, um, cause I'm into this game called Animal Crossing. So I, w I thought that um, maybe I'll get the first um 40 minutes of my gameplay and then post it in youtube and then because i'm too lazy <laughs> i'm a lazy bomb <laughs> <laughs> so i don't want to edit and uh so i thought of doing it um on um live instead so that you know i won't do the hassle of editing all those stuff and then yeah i found it really fun and then talking to others while you play, getting some insights in the game, and then um, getting their, um, you know, suggestions as well is really fun. And building relationship with your viewers is fun. So, yeah, so that's what get me into streaming, basically. So you did, you did YouTube first, correct? But then you got... No, I did not start. <laughs> Oh. I did not start oh. YouTube, so <laughs> I just shifted to like stream. Okay, I think I cannot edit, so I'll just buy the set and then do streaming instead. Mm, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. so that's how it went, yeah. But you have <laughs> uploaded YouTube videos that are not really about gaming, it's more blog styles. Between gaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. between gaming and lifestyle blogs and between gaming and lifestyle, what would you prefer to do? And would you like it more to take off like your lifestyle or gaming? Actually, I want to do both, but I cannot juggle it in my time. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, like I said, it's so hectic to be in my field right now. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of want to do both, but I, I think I... I want to prioritize my, you know, my main job at the moment. That's why I don't stream that often. And then I don't post video that often. But maybe in the near future, if, you know, I'll get a time where I can juggle everything, maybe I'll be doing this often. Mm -hmm. who, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a viewer's <clears throat> question. It is from As Told yeah. by Tay. How do you keep motivation with stream stats and pro progress? Meaning that it, everything's moving okay. very slow in stats. How do you keep motivation with low stream stats and progress? Mm -hmm. um, I actually just don't, don't think about it. Because, <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, those people who are really supporting you will be there as... You know, you know, I don't know how I was going to say it, but yeah, those people who actually truly believes in you will stay with you till the very end. And then I think that's my motivation. Mm -hmm. Like, um, that I got somebody who is believing in me in there that I, they know that I can do it. So yeah, uh, that's. That's it. <laughs> so just keep it going and focus on the positive vibe. Right? Yeah, and don't focus to the negative um, feeling that you're feeling if you are, you know, having those low stats and progress. No, mm -hmm. just go. Go with it. Everybody start from the bottom now. Yes. And then you'll just progress along the way. Mm -hmm. In this <laughs> case, if it wasn't for Facebook Live or Twitch Live or Twitch gaming, I guess I should say. What social media would you do? Would you do focus more on Twitter? Would you focus more on TikTok? Or are you a TikTok person? Uh, no, I actually tried using TikTok last time. Uh -huh. And then I, I find it confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I find it so complex on my little brain. <laughs> teach me but it's so fun i like fun watching all those videos in tiktok it's so fun and then kai just made a uh, very beautiful videos in there oh my gosh i want to do that as well but it's mm -hmm. so complex for me but you know everything um starts with practice so yeah i'll spend more time in tiktok 
<laughs> and find out how it works. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But so um, social media wise, I um using mo- Facebook more often. But wait, with in terms of you know with gaming and gaming, I will focus in Twitch. Yeah. No. If that's your question, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I find Facebook like my yeah my personal space, and then you should always um um uh, what do you call that separate your personal life to online life you should because it will help you as well i agree <clears throat> unless you're like really really close friends yeah 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 and i really do think that you should not say much personal stuff like what's going on currently in someone in mm-hmm. your life let's say or or my life like w- you and i we have the trust to like tell each other but like if like another person that we just met for like a week ago like we should mm-hmm. disclose that much information. Yeah. So mm-hmm. always remember to have, you know, two different boundaries. I mean to separate lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go with something more fun. Okay. And let what are the yeah, two sure. mm-hmm. What are the two more expensive things that you had to buy for streaming? <laughs> oh, number one. Um, excluding computer computer? okay two expensive things that i bought maybe my switch (laughs) yeah yeah okay yeah the switch i think yeah and the other one is what do you have the same capture card as as ours yeah elgato elgato yeah i got that Mm, yeah. So do you have something that more one expensive than the two? The earphone. I don't know. Make this one earphone. This earphone. How much? That I they? not much. I think that's two hundred something New Zealand dollar. Okay. Two hundred for headphones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. My God. But, yeah, but I don't use it that much because mm. I. Because I still want to hear the surroundings rather than me wearing the hair fo- headphone. But I don't know. It's the um, preference of everyone, you know. If someone <laughs> breaks in or something. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh that's what God. I thought, yeah. So let's keep it going with uh, money. So what did you buy with your first Twitch paycheck? Oh, my God. What did I buy? So I, so I received my first Twitch paycheck paycheck like months after my first stream in twitch Mm -hmm. like let's say three or four months after i started twitching (laughs) twitch (laughs) (laughs) is that the proper word i I don't don't know know. i guess live streaming (laughs) but twitching i don't know um did i but i actually probably just um treated myself with a nice food I think, yeah, okay. yeah, because I remember before when I was really into streaming, like I'm very hooked, mm-hmm. I for sometimes forget or forgot eating. I will just grab some chips and then eat that because I'll be streaming, you know, mm-hmm. and then maybe that's why, that's why I just treated myself with a nice food with my first which payout. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna eat what I didn't eat during stream. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, I think I did had a good bowl of ramen okay. and then karage chicken. Mm-hmm. So, which you don't like, mm-hmm. like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell uh, me yeah, a yeah. little bit about your first stream that you did on Twitch. How was your first stream? Like the formal, the no. formal. Oh, no, Le- before you're an affiliate, before anything, like, what was your first stream like? <laughs> like, just random. Because mm, the first stream Twitch. that I did, yeah, the first stream that I did is with my brother, with uh-huh. Sean. Mm-hmm. Actually, we're playing Roblox and my computer by then is very laggy. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, <clears throat> so, so that's what my first stream is so basically i was like babysitting some 
it's just like babysitting because my brother is younger than me like 18 years younger and we're playing together and then my viewers are kids as well mm -hmm. so <laughs> basically they are telling me what to do in the game mm. and then yeah so they're mostly kids so that was fun actually nice. that was fun like, i love interacting with kids too mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> do you happen to remember who the first viewer random person joined your stream do you happen to remember what they said or anything or was oh, it actually those... did I... you do? um do you mean like just in twitch or in facebook too twitch or twitch, okay whichever you remember so i just remember up to now that in facebook before when i <clears throat> stream some minecraft mm -hmm. <laughs> so this kid keep on asking me when am i going to be live again to play minecraft uh -huh. i feel sorry for that kid because i haven't been streaming in facebook already so oh, oh. <laughs> i know <laughs> Dang. i just told him that i got this new channel in twitch that you can watch me there sometimes i will i will um i will um, stream minecraft there so mm -hmm. But he doesn't have any Twitch because he's like under 10 years old. Mm. <laughs> that mm. kid is so cute. I see. Yeah. But yeah. So you said that you stream on Facebook and I don't know yeah, yeah, what yeah. another Facebook for it's just streaming. But did you did you use your personal account for streaming? No, I did a page. Uh, like Aishi as well. Oh, like another one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. So where I was going with the question is like, do you, does your family know that you stream? Like mom, no. dad, no? Yeah, they know. They know. They know. Oh. They know. They know. They're very supportive, actually. Nice. What, are, <laughs> what do they think? They're, so, they're happy as well because they can see me. Because yeah, I, mm -hmm. I am away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in that way, they can watch me what I'm doing, what I'm really playing. What I'm spending my time with. Sometimes my mom will pop here in Twitch and say hi to me. So really? yeah, that's oh. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we have another viewer viewer question yeah. number two. It is, what is your favorite thing slash moment as a streamer? So what do you enjoy that happens on stream that you that you're like, damn, this is good. <laughs> oh, I think. The most memorable stream that I had is my um, birthday stream last year. Oof. I actually, I actually cried because I twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I felt so loved. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, that was the favorite thing that happened mm -hmm. to me. Nice. Favorite moment as a streamer is when I meet new friends and then, um, you know um uh, knowing that those people will stay along the way mm -hmm. that's my favorite moment as a streamer yeah nice. <clears throat> yeah so let's touch <clears throat> a little bit your personality what are some of your <clears throat> pet peeves meaning to those that don't know what pet peeves are meaning weird things that you find annoying that that are just like don't do that <laughs> i'm annoyed <laughs> don't do that i'm annoyed I actually this is kind of funny because actually last night I was just talking to Jason about what mm. annoys me. Jason is uh, <laughs> Aishi's boyfriend. For the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jason is um my boyfriend. So, um, actually, what annoys me is, you know, when I eat and I put some ketchup in there, mm -hmm. and then somebody will dip their thing in my ketchup. <laughs> I feel annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so like your stuff my stuff yeah don't you find it annoying that why can't you get your own excuse me I why like, you're dipping like at least they could ask <laughs> why, why? <laughs> you can get your own ketchup and make a dip for yourself mm. why get it from me nah nah <laughs> but uh, what really annoys me is those people who are late <laughs> mm. like we do have like a set time and then they will come late mm, okay. or i do have an appointment and we're will end up going late because of this person so <clears throat> yeah that what 
kind of annoys me. But I'm a very patient person, but sometimes that really gets to my nerves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 I do think you're a very patient person because you like being around kids. So you have to have a lot of patience for that. How have you improved from your first stream to your last stream? Ooh. What do you know about? Yeah, like, oh, I don't do this first... anymore. <laughs> oh, that's hard. I mean, I'm kind of shy before. I was, I was just, you know, sometimes I don't talk because mm -hmm. I don't know what to, you know, to talk about. Maybe that what, uh, that's what um, streaming taught me, like, just express what you really, you know, want to express. Do not. <clears throat> and then what else? Maybe, maybe my communication skills as well. Maybe. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. when I start streaming, I really talk in my language before, even here in Twitch. And then eventually I just shifted into, you know, total English. As I want to expand my, you know, my my community so yeah so maybe that mm. maybe that nice, nice. <laughs> yeah the progress yeah that makes that makes <laughs> sense and i do remember that you said that your first stream was in filipino right yeah 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 nice. so i really speak in my language before my first stream mm -hmm. in filipino oh, okay mm. so what are what do you think is the coolest thing about the internet And what do you think are what do you think can go wrong in the internet? Um, coolest thing is that you can reach those people who are not here with you at the moment. Like before, you still need to call them. Like use a roaming SIM card to just call them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But now you can just reach them like one click of the phone. They can talk to you. <clears throat> Like, yeah, those things. And then for the internet, what can go wrong is, like, misinformation of everything. Like, um, well, I'll talk about in my job. Sometimes people will say, oh, but I heard and I read in the internet that this, 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 this are like this. Mm. But, but... Oh, you, especially, like, with you, nursing, yeah, right? Like, health yeah. stuff yeah but internet is not dr google i mean you really <laughs> need to consult if you have problems not because you um read it in the internet it's not something like that you really need proper diagnosis with your what you're feeling right now and then internet sometimes will make you feel worse because you you found something wrong with your body and then you'll search it in the internet And then it will trigger some anxiety because you feel like you have these multiple problems already, which is really not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> I think misinformation and then misleading news as well is what go can go wrong in the internet. Sometimes we we um, overuse internet as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. I agree on that <laughs> misinformation. Did you know that there's like this website w called The Onion? And everything they post is just fake news. And they've admitted it multiple times. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, why do you even exist? And like, it's a, like, you, should, it's, you shouldn't be yeah. like in the news category. You should be like in the stories, at least category on fiction. Because it's not true. But they just keep making up lies. And I'm like, why do you even exist? Like, it doesn't make sense. And they even have a newspaper. Really? They, yeah. What kind of news? What kind of news there are they spread spreading? I have zero idea because that I I acknowledged that on a long time ago. It was like 2018 <laughs> when I figured it out. But it's all just all fake news. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. No, don't believe in fake news, guys. <laughs> um to credibility before believing into something <clears throat> like oh. wikipedia sometimes is wrong so <laughs> i know that we always reach out for wikipedia but sometimes it's wrong as well but yeah just uh, look into your own research before believing into something okay <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah uh, mm. 
Tell me something about you that has made you the person who you are today. Like Not something about something that you know I view the world this way and this is why I'm this way. Do, 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 does that make sense? So for example, this so for example, this car crash almost made me lose my life, but after that I've been more grateful and I look at, at life this way and I keep motivating such things. Or let me change the question. What makes you motivated in life and streaming and everything else? What what makes me motivated in life? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh my family. Mm -hmm. My family, <laughs> yeah, because um, in in a way, uh, since I talk about earlier that my family can watch me here in streaming as well, so it's something that um, connect us as well, especially to my little brother who's just growing up. Um, we share the same um, interest. So, what made me today so? I don't know. It's just like my family are just my major um, inspiration. Everything. Yeah. Nice. With everything. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Then growing up. Mm. So where do you see yourself in your two-year anniversary of Twitch and social media? I'm sure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, need to, I need to do more. <laughs> I need to do more. <laughs> <laughs> or what well, because we i feel like we all have like uh scheduling problems and uh, yeah, energy yeah. problems because we can't just commit to streaming because that's it's a little bit impossible to survive uh, like in life i know i know i i got like my my job is like nine to five monday to friday i'm now and i'm now looking into doing a saturday job as well so uh yeah so but but two years from now, hopefully, hopefully, I'll gain more, you know, more experience and then more friends and get going with streaming. And then you guys need to help me to motivate myself. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need to get, we need to play more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But two years from now, hopefully, hopefully. Everything will be fine by then. Yeah. <laughs> you, what advice would you give to someone that is just now thinking, barely thinking about starting to stream? Like, it can be just on tech or motivation or something. Just if that started, you know, if you thought about it, just do it. Because every day you will just think about it. Like, mm -hmm if you don't start now it will just be in your brain and it will not stop you <laughs> i yeah. mean it will not stop you from thinking about it so just start just start and then you know everything will go everything will start small so just go with it just go with the flow mm -hmm. don't stop just by thinking that i i can't do it because i have this i have that oh well you haven't tried yet so why not try first and then and then look at the progress Mm -hmm. And then I'm sure you're going to find what's suited to you. Just start. Just start. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert or in the middle? What do you consider yourself more? I think I am. Um, well, introvert, I guess. Uh -huh. sure. I have a small, I have a small um, circle of friends mm -hmm. that I just want to keep that I'm that kind of person, but if I'm out there, I'm kind of friendly as well. Okay. So I, I don't know where should I be categorized, but yeah. How <laughs> what do you, you think? Like to what do you seen? think? <laughs> I think huh? you. Mm, I think if you really feel that connection with the person, you will try to keep them close. I think that's my perspective on you. Oh really? <laughs> I think because if you're if you're not feeling so much the vibe, you'll be still friendly, of course, but not like too close in like not too personal. I guess I should say with them. Okay. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so as much as possible, I keep my circle small mm -hmm. because you know 
it's just me <laughs> <laughs> but i don't <laughs> i don't i didn't say that you should um make your circle small as well if you are you know out there and just be friendly with everyone just do it i mean be friendly with everyone mm -hmm. and then yeah it's nice to gain friends mm -hmm. really it's nice to meet new personalities new people learn mm -hmm. from them mm. did you happen to see this video that went viral on tiktok and youtube i think it also went viral of this of this massive big streamer we're talking about twenty thousand average viewers big streamer saying that oh. why don't you play with smaller streamers and he got offended he got offended because they're like i'm not gonna play with someone just because they're small like they're small for a reason because they're not good enough oh i feel okay it came out it, it's not, it's more aggressive than how i make it sound to be honest and many people are created <laughs> and then many people are just like because they haven't been given the opportunity or they're doing something wrong they don't have the right information what are, what do you think is your take on that what do you think that people um, um, are just small because they are not good enough? Um, I don't know. People are, some, some people may, maybe, um, want themselves to be small. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not mm -hmm. to, exp because sometimes having a lot of viewers, you cannot really connect to them. Mm-hmm. That's why those people maybe chose to be a small streamer instead. It's not about them not being great, but they chose to be like that maybe. So it's not good to judge them that they are not good. Maybe they have something in the back of their minds that, you know, do you know what I, <laughs> what I, I mean? I know what you mean, that we all want different things, you know? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. because, because sometimes... Go ahead. Mm, because sometimes like if you have really like a twenty thousand viewers how will you connect to them mm -hmm. not even with your it's mods <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. and your mods you ha you need 500 mods mm. oh my god <laughs> at that point yes <laughs> 500 mods. where are you going to pick them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, agree with so... what you said 100 we all want different things and kind of want to keep it controllable <laughs> i guess we could say in this case for example i was <laughs> having a conversation with kai and i was like i want to become big but i don't want to where i cannot even reach at like i want to mostly focus on the gameplay and not so much about like conversations because there are people that just do just chatting streams to connect with people and that's totally fine they're just making friends and i don't know helping entertaining people however i want to entertain people but like gameplay so i need to be very good at the game i i, I picked i choose to play mm -hmm. yeah so i always say that in the streaming it, there are just two like two factor that you are streaming First one is you are good with people, and the second one is you are good with games. So, if you have those two person um, qualities, then you're great. You're good that you have those two personality. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, if you are good with people, focus on that. Then talk to them, gain your network. Um, and then if you are good with games, then that's great as well because you are good with that. And then focus on that and then probably talk to the people as well but focus on the game there's nothing wrong with it there's mm -hmm. you know there's two ways of doing streaming it's not about forcing yourself to be like this because you have to mm -hmm. you have qualities that you are really good into so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> 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 what kind of streamer would you want to be? Would you want to be a very good at the game streamer or a very good at communicating and chatting and socializing? I am into more socializing, socializing rather yeah. than good gamer. Nice. Yeah, because to start it, I am not. Mm -hmm. I am not a good gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I panic a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I panic a lot. If you can, if you watch me play phasmophobia or even roblox i panic a lot so 
I probably just talk to the people <laughs> and connect to them. <laughs> uh, whatever works. <laughs> whatever works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Sorry, this is not. Mm. We have a uh, another question. How do you deal with uneasy messages slash content while while live? Oh, like a a hot topic or an unsettling. So like an awkward an awkward question. How do you deal with it? Like an awkward question. I try my best not. I try my best to answer it, but not in an offensive way. But sometimes, if re- the question is really offensive, um, <clears throat> I will whisper to that person mm-hmm. that um, I'm sorry, I cannot able to answer your question live because um, I think it's not appropriate. Yeah, so that's what I do usually. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah. And then sometimes it's really bad. I will ban the message, <laughs> uh-huh. and then talk to that person. I used to whisper. be afraid of timing out or banning people, but now I don't care because I realized that I make my own community. I can set set up my own rules. I know, I know that my goal is just for to make. My goal is to make friends and have fun and play games. Yeah, like, and be comfortable, you know? Mm-hmm. Be comfortable with your community, not um, going into the hot topic or very awkward topic that you will discuss. And then you'll get into deeper, you know, deeper aspect of that topic, mm-hmm. which is sometimes opinionated. We don't want to be digging into that as much as possible while streaming yeah Have you ever but had if to... you can you can what mm-hmm. but if you can answer it like straightforward why not mm-hmm. like very straightforward why not but just not go deeper into that um question if it's too awkward already that's true because <clears throat> then it, i feel like it ruins the vibe you know for example on kai's yeah. stream uh and we keep mentioning Kai because Kai is like in another level where we are. Yeah, another We're shooting level. for partner. Up there. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just here. <laughs> I am so proud of her. Yes. I am so proud of her. I saw her progress. Mm-hmm. And yeah. They're shooting so, for partner. That's that's bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm so proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> so oh uh so Kai gets a lot of people where they ask uncomfortable conversations and Kai tries to answer it without giving too much attention and then you can just feel the tension of awkwardness or a little bit of uncomfortableness because you're like why did this person ask this question like what was the reason <laughs> yeah yeah do not just do not go deeper into it just answer whatever you can like mm-hmm. one direct question that's it yeah yeah I, I... I mean direct answer that question or I probably think... throw the question back to them <laughs> <Did you? laughs> Throw the question back to them what will you do what if i ask this question to you what is your answer <laughs> oh my God, yeah. i think i've only had um, a couple of situations where it, there yeah. was like, like an uncomfortable situation and it was about game related like for example um the shooter and then another person's the healer and then the other person's a shooter they're, they were like in chat, why aren't you healing enough? Why aren't you doing this? Why are you like, literally all you have to do is heal me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, stop doing it. Let's just enjoy the game. So what I try to do is I use the sandwich method. Do you, are you familiar with the sandwich method? No, what is it? I think you might be familiar. Uh, so I say something good and then something like what I want to say and then ended up ended with something good again. So it sounds very neutral. So you kind of have uh, so you, I first. You know, uh-huh. mm. So for example, like this person said, Oh, this person come on, heal me, heal me. That's all you need to do. You suck or whatever. And I'm like, ha ha, mm. hey, stop saying that. And then I'm like, uh, oh my god. And then I compliment the other person, like, oh my god, you have so much other healing. Oh my god, you're doing a lot of healing. So it's kind of like like a backhanded, I don't know, response. I don't know how you would say, it, but I I call it the sandwich method. Like something good, bad, and then good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes you have to... Um, sometimes if you are going to approach a person, sometimes you have to praise them first before telling them what's wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, um, and then um, what do you call that? Console them afterwards. 
yeah sometimes yeah that's great that's great what you've been doing <laughs> yeah i think it's fine and it keeps it like still it doesn't bring down the vibe so i think that is a, mm -hmm. a good thing so in somewhat is... you're still respecting the person yeah especially you that you don't want to disrespect either side yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. so what are some tips that you would give some streamers that are out there in our positions um when purchasing be tags or something oh be kind to yourself i mean um don't be hard to yourself mm -hmm. um just go along with the progress mm -hmm. do not be like um disheartened if you feel like um no one is watching you no one is talking to you don't be don't be hard to yourself that's the main advice that i can give everyone mm -hmm. like this is not the whole you streaming is not the the whole of uh, streaming is not your whole persona i mean um there's a lot of people who loves you out there so do not be sad if you know find those people like those people who are supporting you find um take them as an inspiration <clears throat> yeah so that's the best advice that i i, I can actually give to all streamers out there mm -hmm. So we are coming to the end of the interview. If yeah. any viewers want to start uh, sending some questions while we finish up, and then we'll read those last before we end. So any other case, questions? Yes, any questions related that are, to are nice <laughs> <laughs> related to streaming or Aishi's live related to streaming or mm -hmm. what do you want to ask me? So, Aishi, are you working on any projects? I know what part you're working on currently, but do you want to share any projects that you're working on right now? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking into starting, you know, a small business. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm making a handmade soy candles at the moment, nice. <laughs> which I really love. Yeah, I really love the scent of the candle. I don't know why I find it relaxing. So, I, I, um, I thought, why, why? Why, why not start making it? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. find out how those kind of why it will give me so relaxing. You know, mo. Uh, <clears throat> why does scented candle makes me feel relaxed? So, so I um, searched how to make those these candles, and I find it really interesting. Yeah, you know, Is it so I'm quite that. Huh? Uh, did sorry uh, was it like what you expected like the process yeah, i didn't them? know that um, i didn't know that there's a lot of scents <laughs> 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 i thought it's just lavender all those lime or something but there's like millions of scents that you can make i didn't know that oh my gosh and then i they're so yummy i don't know it's just yeah so so I'm thinking, um, I'm focusing into doing this. That's why I'm not streaming that often at the moment. But probably I'll, one of these days, I'll post in YouTube. Or maybe in the future, I'll do it live. How to make a scented candle, maybe? Be Let's, see. Interesting. Let's see. Let's yes. see. Let's <laughs> mm -hmm. see. Mm. So, so I'm thinking of doing this in the future. So mm. if Jason's there, do you think you can tell him to show us uh, your candles by any chance? Jason? Yeah, to grab you some candles so you can show us on those that are going to be watching on yeah, YouTube. Sure. Yes. Jason! <laughs> can you grab one of my candles, please? Jason, get over <laughs> can here! <you> grab... <laughs> <laughs> can you grab one of my candles, please? Yes. I am more get excited. Get your favorite one. Mm-hmm. I am more excited about the cucumber one. I told you, I love how yeah. you, you asked me, what kind of candles do you like? And I'm like, I like yeah, cucumber. I mean, <laughs> and then you bought I watermelon. Mean, <laughs> on stream. I, on stream. Oh my God. Like getting um, everyone's opinion. Mm -hmm. Look. So yeah. here it is. That is a so, cucumber mint. And Q -Q what is your mint. brand name again? Ser Serenity Sense? Serenity scents nice. because my code name is usually Aishira Serenity and then I find Serenity like 
like serenity is like peace right or yes. something yeah. like that so mm-hmm. peace sent <laughs> peace sent <laughs> <Peace in. laughs> well serenity is also like calm so i guess calm sense yeah calm yeah, yeah yeah nice yeah. i really like the name and serenity i've seen it a lot so it very fits you yeah so that's me this is my candle unfortunately it's not available internationally because mm-hmm. i'm still starting but maybe someday we don't know maybe it will mm-hmm. expand into diffuser into a lip balm into a soap let's see yeah. i'm hoping oh hoping. Soap would be it would be so good yeah i Hand know soap, like bar soap oh yes yeah <laughs> and lip balm those lotions as well let's see let's see yeah. let's see which one's Speaking your favorite of those, scent? My favorite scent? Uh-huh. Uh, oh no, that's hard. <laughs> it's like choosing between my babies, who's my favorite. <laughs> like, but the sweetest one that I um smelled is the chocolate. Mm. It's like so yummy. It's like I want to eat it. <laughs> okay. Hi, hello. I can see there. Honey yeah, Possum. Hello, Honey Hi. Possum. Hi. And congratulations for your um, candles it is very exciting if i'm it's a product thank you. girl would you like my candle <laughs> i'll be meet on friday <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah so i think that will be my next check nice so. we are excited for you to continue streaming <laughs> for you i'll make a comeback soon mm-hmm. yeah i'll just start out my life guys <laughs> they say you want to buy funny. all your candles <laughs> Aww. all right so we are coming to the end of stream again uh if anyone has any questions for aishi overall twitch or anything that they want to talk about that you want us to talk about sorry honey possum sorry 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 oh you're fine i'm reading i'm reading uh another question okay yeah question question is there any games that would you that you're looking forward to streaming in the future? Actually, I'm into this game. I mean, yesterday mm-hmm. it's called Eternal Eternal. What was that? <laughs> Eternal Return. Eternal Return Black Survive. What? Yeah, Survival. Uh, Eternal <clears throat> Revive Survival. <laughs> Eternal <laughs> Return Black Survival. So. Mm-hmm. I was playing that yesterday for like two hours straight, two and a half hours straight, and I find it interesting. It's like not my normal mode of game, but I find it interesting and fun. It's like, you know, um, it's like Dota. Dota is that the word? Dota. Uh, is that the game? Dota, Mobile Le- Legends, Crafting, and then PUBG in one. Mm. So <laughs> wait. Not- is it an FPS game or? You have to kill. <laughs> you have to kill. Yeah. Okay, so, but like, you where the. So you have a one. weapon. <laughs> it's like you are the only one who should be um, left in the game. Because if they kill you, you'll be terminated. So you're out. It's not like Fortnite, right? That it's like a battle royale? Like you go. Oh, yes. It's like Battle Royale. Uh-huh. But the yeah. game mode, it's like. Uh, mobile legends mm-hmm. i mean how you will walk it's not wasd that you have to press in your computer oh, okay. mm-hmm. no you need the mouse to um to do direct your character and then you have to craft your weapon mm. it's not like that you will just dig into a box and you'll get a weapon straight away you have to get all the items to craft a weapon so it's kind of interesting Nice. If you guys like something like that or a new game to try, it's kind of cute. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's like more anime as well. Like the um, the visual is anime. So if you like animes, why not try it? Mm. Yeah. So I'm tra- I'm thinking of streaming that soon, but I need to be you know better with it. Yes. I at this stage I just playing with AIs. 
and then yesterday i tried playing with real people and i end up in like 17 i <clears throat> seven out of 18 so i did not win so oh I wait it's to... only 18 players 18 person in one map okay got it mm. all right so people yeah this is the end of the first episode of oh my gosh congratulations name of the podcast because i ha I came up with so many names and i'm like what the what name did i pick at the end but thank you for coming to the first episode of people behind social media with the first guest aishi plays thank you guys for being here and um Watch out for another episode. Post it in the comments, uh, Aishi's Twitter, I mean Aishi's Twitch and YouTube. Please make sure to check the, check Aishi out. And I also will link it in the YouTube video whenever it's uploaded. Make sure to stay tuned and make sure to follow me. Follow the podcast. Follow, follow me. <laughs> yeah, follow um, him. He's good. Yeah, he's really friendly. He's really nice. I'm a bitch. He's <laughs> like, like, um, he's like older than me, but... In real life, is he's not. He's like ten years younger than me, but sometimes he's more mature thinking than me. So yeah, wait. yeah. This <laughs> wait, wait. You've been pointing over there when I'm over here in in my camera. There, there, <laughs> there, there. <laughs> thank well, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Multiplay PS. Hey. More episode of this podcast. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So.